Welcome back to Chit Chats with the CEO of American Ayurveda. I am Dr. Vasudha Gupta, Ayurveda practitioner and CEO of American Ayurveda. Today, we are going to talk about an interesting topic which is very prevalent and right now after COVID-19, a lot of people have been complaining of that problem and the name is arthritis. So let's talk about arthritis. A lot of times when we think about arthritis, we think about joints which are kind of deformed or fingers which have kind of become stiff or knees or lower back which is very painful on movement. So what is arthritis? So arthritis by definition is inflammation of a joint and it could be any joint. Arthritis can practically involve any joint in the body and when we talk about a joint, what is how, what do you mean by a joint? It's basically a place where two bones meet and because it's a junction or a point where two bones are meeting when arthritis sets in that joint it affects the movements of both the bones that are involved correct so when we talk about arthritis there is no age limit that is one thing that we need to be very clear about a lot of times we think oh it's only because of age once we are 50s 60s or 70s well, that's not true. Arthritis can happen at any age. That is one thing. Uh, according to Ayurveda, how will we define it? It's, it's a problem where there is a lot of air element, which is Vata. There is a depletion. So there is an excess of air element, correct? Excess of Vata. There is a depletion of Kapha, which we can define as the synovial fluid which is the lubrication that keeps the joints healthy and there is the third factor which is the fire element or the pitta which is also involved in this disease formation uh, which leads to inflammation of the joint and this inflammation is what causes the pain the shooting pain or a constant discomfort in that joint and more so whenever the joint is moved okay so what are some causative factors let's look at that um, a direct causative factor is definitely overuse of the joint kind of like you're standing for a long time you've been doing work where there is a lot of stress especially on the knees and that's one joint or the hips so those kind of work uh, functions where your joints have to constantly bear the weight could be one causative factor um, age is a general causative factor like because with age according to Ayurveda once we cross 50s we go into a vata phase of life where the air element or the vata is the prominent energy dosha and that is why it affects the joints in terms of excessive deterioration, excessive dryness and excessive discomfort or friction because of less lubrication of the joints on movement. Now besides that, what are some other factors? Definitely stress. I mean because stress affects all aspects of our life whether it's related to change of diet, not taking care of ourselves um, neglecting small signals, early signals of arthritis like slight pain, discomfort or um, a sudden uh, you can hear like a, a sound in the joint like a crackling sound in the joints so these are like early signs of arthritis which a lot of times we ignore based on our uh, mental emotional physical state of body and mind 
uh, some other causative factors are it could be a secondary symptom of certain diseases like arthritis normally sets in as a secondary step or when certain diseases go deeper into the body for example leaky gut ibs crohn's colitis a lot of times it could also be because of other health issues like psoriasis or other autoimmune diseases because all autoimmune diseases they come from the gut when the gut bacteria is not healthy it affects your immune system and in turn we end up with autoimmune diseases and all these autoimmune diseases because they are at the cellular level arthritis could be a symptom of those diseases now how does ayurveda deal with these most of the time when you look for solutions for arthritis you're given a painkiller because pain is something that literally affects your day to day functioning physical as well as mental and it's also emotionally draining when you are in pain so normally you're prescribed a lot of painkillers but does it solve the issue does it heal the joint but ayurveda can actually help heal the joint it can actually help the joints to start secreting the synovial fluid again and it can actually help you keep the joints lubricated for less friction and that leads to less pain correct so how does ayurveda look at arthritis so we address all the three imbalances like i talked about in the beginning of the video uh, we have invol involvement of the vata element which is the air we have a involvement of the kapha where there is a depletion of the uh, lubricating fluid and we are, we will all, also address the inflammation which is or the pitta involvement which is creating the lessening of the fluid and the drying so we will address each one with different kinds of treatment options correct so the first very easy thing that vata um uh, sorry ayurveda teaches is reduce the vata vata is nothing but air and what does air do it causes dryness correct air is always mobile and that's why when the joints are moving the pain starts the pain also moves correct so we will have to reduce the vata and for that the best treatment is locally oleating the joints or keeping them healthy by applying oils externally so for example uh, if you go on my website i make a oil uh, by the way everything on my website is handmade by me so we make a oil which is called the vatari pain relief oil and that actually helps to keep the joints lubricated okay and slowly slowly the joints will start secreting the synovial fluid by themselves so that is one thing that we can do second thing we do is reduce the inflammation which will in turn reduce the pain and the further worsening of the joint so to reduce the pain what we do is we use certain herbs there are certain google formulations that we can use uh i also make a formulation called arthritis support uh you can go on my website and take a look at the ingredients a lot of times uh vata deep seated vata issues like chronic constipation chronic stress could also be the triggers for arthritis so addressing those issues will also help um now when we start applying the oil we actually take care of the kapha depletion the the vata movements or the vata um pain triggering movements of the vata or element and <clears throat> internally with the herbs we can take care of the inflammation so addressing uh, this issue from a three fold view actually helps cure 
arthritis to a very great extent the movement becomes the movements become less painful the inflammation goes down and the person can actually have a healthy normal functioning life and also it affects the mental health of the person because when there's less pain there's less discomfort the movements are frictionless and painless obviously a person is happy correct and more mobile more active and and a lot of times um it actually changes the outlook for life so these were like a few tips from me and american ayurveda on how you can manage arthritis and of course um when we uh, do consult people i definitely recommend a lot of dietary changes a lot of times some lifestyle changes uh which again add to the early uh what do you call progress um introduction of symptoms um but any more questions you guys have you can reach out to me you can text me on 2122020225 or you can email me with your questions american ayurveda at gmail.com i look forward to your suggestions for any other topics that you would like me to talk on and keep coming back for more interesting topics like these in the near future thank you you're watching the american ayurveda youtube channel i am vaidya vasudha gupta ceo and co-founder of american ayurveda stay tuned for more informative videos that can help you change your life